Yeah, we're watching what's a, a pretty laborious process in the UK to choose a new Conservative leader. It mirrors pretty much what Labor Party do, what the Labor Party does now in Australia after those Rudd changes a couple of years back. Um, you've written about it though in the Australian Financial Review today, and you're saying, "Hang on, yes, it's laborious, but we actually should be doing it here in Australia in terms of the Liberal Party." Give us the arguments. The Liberal MPs have never been more separated from the party membership. The Liberal Party at the federal level is pursuing policies and pursued policies that were rejected by the membership that led to a decline in enthusiasm, that led to the, the Liberal Party in many states now being virtually moribund. I am one for more democracy, for more participation in politics. And the idea that party members, the people who raise the money, the people who stand in the rain handing out how to vote cards on election mm. day should have a say in the leadership, I think is very powerful. And there's another key reason I'd support this. It's because for the first time then you would have a policy debate about the direction of the party. I'm really excited to watch what's happening in the UK. As you said, you've got Kimmy, people like Kimmy Badenoch putting cultural issues and freedom of speech issues first and foremost in the debate. You've got Rishi Sunak as the former uh, Chancellor talking about uh, tax cuts and what the country can afford. You've got a real debate. And I think uh, the Coalition federally under Peter Dutton uh, have to assess uh, why so little was achieved, uh, certainly in the last few mm. years of the Coalition government. What's going to be the future direction? You and, make such a good uh, point, leadership John. Leadership contests will do that. The, the policy point, I think, um, I didn't appreciate it well enough until you just explained it there, but you're absolutely right, because when you're trying to get the numbers in the party room, you, you promise a few people, uh, you know, the bauble of a front bench job, you've only got to get, you know, half of the room, 88 or 90 might be in the room. In the case in the UK, they're forced to debate policy because they've got to go out there and get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rank and file to vote for them. And I know here in Australia, there, there's no way the rank and file would have seen off uh, Tony Abbott. They just voted for him in a landslide. Um, and there's no way that the rank and file would ever have put someone like Malcolm Turnbull into the job. So it's a wonderful safety valve in terms of values, but it forces the career politicians back into the debate with their grassroots about who you are as Liberals, what you stand for, and, and, and the platform of policy, which I think has been missing. That would revitalise the Liberal Party and it would revitalise the national policy mm. debate in this country as opposed to Labor and Liberal MPs agreeing with themselves over so much. John Roskam, you have convinced me. Let's see if they take it up. Thank you for your time.